up guys we back at it with some creepy and spiritually enlightened tiktoks hopefully all is well please like comment subscribe and we about to get right to it the mandela effects that i can guarantee you have not seen before these will genuinely blow your mind and make you question everything now unless you want to be absolutely terrified out of your mind then just keep on scrolling honestly this will keep you up all goddamn night First up, Disney. Probably everyone remembers this. Yeah, Tinkerbell dotting the I in the intros. I remember this vividly, like, I clearly remember this happened. Well, it didn't. And it never did. What? A lot of people swear that they remember a robber emoji, and a hiker emoji which looks similar to this one right here. Now, especially the robber one, I remember that extremely clearly. Like, I used that, I swear. But it never existed, Apple didn't remove it or anything, it just never existed. Now your parents will no doubtably remember the book and everything, the Bernstein Bears. It was extremely famous, everybody knows it was called the Bernstein Bears. But it's always been called the Bernstein Bears. Spider-Man Mandela. Now guys, for me, I remember the, the, um, the criminal emoji, the robber emoji. And then Tinkerbell, I remember Tinkerbell doing that. Now my question to y'all, do y'all think this CERN or some other technology or the government just messing with us from changing things to cause division amongst the masses. Let me know down below what thoughts. Hello effect. Do you guys remember that one scene from Spider-Man 2 where Spider-Man saves all those people on that train by stopping the train with his webs? And do you guys remember when Spider-Man started to pass out because saving all those people on that train took out all his energy? And as Spider-Man passes out, the people on that train carry him to safety and put him down gently. Well, during this scene, somebody says something in the crowd that a lot of people remember, but apparently it's never been said in the movie. So what was said during this scene? Was it careful, he's a hero, or you go down slow or gently? Let me know in the comment section what you guys remember if you've seen this movie. If you guys said careful, that's what I remember, careful, he's a hero he's a hero you are wrong that was never said in the movie even though there's a bunch of parodies and memes copying this exact scene such as the meme above here's the actual clip from the movie nice and easy to go down slower gently yeah very strange i remember careful he's a hero not slower gently but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you remember this scene let me show you all this in the 90s i saw 12 gauge in concert okay and one of my favorite songs in the 90s was donkey butt it was always spelled d-o-n-k-e-y always always it was never spelled d-u-n-k-i-e ever ever i want to show y'all something alexa play donkey butt by 12 gauge what is going on with this somebody get 12 gauge on the phone because I need to speak to him right now because I know they never spelled that shit like that. Ever. Ever. There are some Mandela effects that you probably don't remember. So many people remember Jackie Robinson as breaking the MLB color barrier, but it was actually William White in 1879 who was the first black baseball player. However, he was a closeted black man and the first openly black baseball player was Moses Walker in 1883. Quick, how many people were in the car when JFK was shot? Not three, not four, not five, but six people. It was a modified car with three rows for his wife, two Secret Service agents, and the Texas governor and his wife. You probably remember Shaggy as having a protruding Adam's apple, but he doesn't actually have one at all. The Raisin Bran son has glasses, right? Wrong, he doesn't actually have any glasses. Many people remember the Mona Lisa to be fairly stoic in expression with a slight smirk on her face, but she actually sports a pretty noticeable smile. Popular to contrary belief, this isn't the Starbucks logo because she actually has a star where the tip of the crown supposedly is. And lastly, you see this every day, but what's the correct order for a traffic light? If you said green on top, you'd be wrong. Pretty cool, right? Fruit Loops is not spelt Fruit Loops. It's spelt Fruit Loops. The Mandela effect is gonna have you second guessing some things. Cruella never wore a Dalmatian coat. Her coats was always plain. Another Mandela effect is the Coca-Cola logo. Now we all know it has a dash, but which dash is the correct one? Just when I thought I was right, I got it wrong. Fun fact, Coca-Cola actually had Coca in it. I'm talking booger sugar. If you ever watched Scooby-Doo, then you will remember that Shaggy had a big Adam's apple. Now when you look at those same episodes, you realize that it was never there. 
which bugged me out so much that I made it my life goal to find it. Although he could have just been swallowing, pause, I know I'm not the only one with these Mandela effects. So it's either they didn't put their devices on high, or people were just out here tripping. Richard Frank will now throw a switch, which will either answer certain- What do y'all think truly about these Mandela effects? Is someone playing with our reality? And why? Someone has clearly been editing Lilo and Stitch, because this is the version of Lilo and Stitch I have where she clearly hides in a dryer. She is not in a cabinet with a pizza box on it. So I think someone's done some clever editing. One of the craziest Mandela effects I've ever Nah, that could have just... That could have just been to protect kids. Don't go in dryers, maybe. In the VMAs, Miley Cyrus was hosting VMAs. She was like doing a call out to everybody in the crowd. They're like, oh, we got the weekend. Oh, yeah. We got Justin yeah, Bieber. Yeah. And then one of them, she said, and this was what made headlines. Yeah. <laughs> where she said, shout out ASAP Rocker. Travis Scott, no? No, not Travis oh, Scott. Oh, okay. But remember when she said, Oh, ASAP Rocker. Yeah, 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 yeah. ASAP Rocker. Yeah, but <laughs> yo. And then he went like, this. yeah, yeah. And then, then ASAP Rocky's like, stop it. <laughs> so there's a Mandela effect. What? With ASAP Rocky. What do you remember? What he was wearing? No, not even that. Plot twist. She never said ASAP Rocker. No, no, no. Yeah, man, she never said ASAP Rocker. No. no. Everyone from our era, we all remember that. Sh what the fuck did she say then? Look, listen, listen. No, there's gotta be AI. I like your swoon. The weekend, yeah, and they're all cheesed. Remember this? Yeah, yeah. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. She just said ASAP Rocky. By the way, this video is scripted and for entertainment purposes only. Stay weird. So is this some new Mandela or something? Cause I noticed this in January, and I was wondering why is he still alive after he passed? You know, on a live died or whatever. Why they don't look the same? Person. Even though he's younger here, but older there, why they don't look the same? Them look like E.T. down here, right? E.T. foam and home, huh? No, 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 no. You cannot treat me. You cannot treat me. And I believe she's the same person because, you know, her contract ended or she left or whatever. And they switched over with the pray lady. So, yeah. But who is he? He died, man. That I've seen this. I wonder why they so that shazam movie when you're favored by god you're also favored by the devil absolutely he's coming for you too <laughs> so you just gotta be strong and stay on the right side whose side are you gonna go on he's gonna give you power too he's gonna get in your head too but francis laughing like a lot of us would but i believe this is true it's whose side you gonna stay with you stay with who brought you here mm. you stay you go home with the guy that brought you to the dance mm. you know you have to be disciplined. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Mm. Yes, remember, God loves you, so does he. He's after you, too. It's a war. You got to really believe that. If you don't believe it, you'll find out. You need faith, because you're not smarter than Satan, brother. I know you may think you're smarter than Satan. You need faith. You need faith, brother. He's good. He knows your weakness. He knows you before you were existing. You can't talk slick to him. You're good. How he gives you all your thoughts, probably, sometimes. This will make you question reality. Here's more proof that we switched timelines. This is part three. What brand do you think of when you see these pizza rolls? Yeah, I'll give you a minute. Now, if you're from my timeline, you would have said Tostino's. It's Totino's. Where did the S go? And you guys know Jordan sneakers, right? The logo always had shorts, but supposedly it's always been pants. How does that even make sense? Who plays ball in pants? And wasn't the Mississippi River the longest river in the U.S.? Well, supposedly it's the Missouri River. And we all know the song, We Are the Champions. We all remember the ending of the song. He goes, we are the champions of the world. But that's not the ending lyrics. It just ends with, we are the champions. Of the world. Right. I remember I played the Matrix and I believe that part was in there. By the way, comment down below, what's a better fruit? Watermelon or pineapple? Let's oh. see who wins this war. And I know I am not tripping. Y'all cannot tell me that the Energizer Bunny has had its battery on its leg the whole time. I kid you not, it's always been on its back. Five signs that you are under a spiritual attack. One, battling with feelings of guilt, condemnation, and shame. Two, old emotional wounds from the past are resurfaced. Three, 
Doubting God's goodness that you even feel anger towards God. Four, when you wake up with a strange illness accompanied with physical fatigue. Five, thinking about going back to your old lifestyle. If this is you, do not give up. Totally submit your life to God. Five targets. Demons attack in spiritual warfare, faith and belief. Demons aim to undermine and distort a person's faith in God and his word. They may attack through doubt, deception, and promoting false beliefs. Their goal is to sow seeds of disbelief and draw people away from a genuine relationship with God. Mind. Demons target the mind by influencing thoughts and planting negative and destructive ideas. They may tempt individuals with sinful desires, feed them with lies and negative self-talk, and create confusion and mental distress. Their aim is to control and manipulate the thought life of individuals. Feelings. Demons exploit emotions to create turmoil, fear, anger, depression, and other negative emotions. They may seek to provoke unhealthy emotional responses and distort a person's perception of themselves, others, and God. By manipulating emotions, demons try to disrupt peace and stability. Relationships. Demons can attack relationships by fostering discord, strife, and division. They may influence individuals to harbor bitterness, unforgiveness, and jealousy, leading to broken relationships and damaged connections. Demons seek to disrupt unity, love, and harmony among people. Physical. While not all physical ailments are directly caused by demons, they can influence and exacerbate physical health issues. Demons may target areas of weakness, inflicting pain, illness, and other forms of physical affliction. They seek to bring physical suffering and hinder individuals from living in health and wholeness. Although demons may attack in these areas, believers have the power and authority through Jesus Christ to resist and overcome them. By relying on prayer, faith, the Word of God, and the help of the Holy Spirit, believers can engage in spiritual warfare and experience victory over the schemes of the enemy. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more. Lilith was not Adam's first wife. The wife that Adam had that's mentioned in the Bible is Eve, not Lilith. If you go to Genesis, you will not see Lilith mentioned anywhere. But if that's the case, where is Lilith in the Bible? I'll show you. When you go to Isaiah 34, 14, you're going to see, it says the creatures of the desert will encounter jackals and the hairy goat will call to its kind. Indeed, Lilith, which in the Hebrew, that's the Hebrew, it means a night demon, will settle there and find herself a place to rest. Lilith is a demon. Whenever you guys start believing that Lilith was Adam's first wife, you get comfortable with that spirit and you open the door to that demon. And then years from then, you're more sexually charged than you have been because that's a female night spirit. Suck you, bus. Repent from that mindset. Follow to stay updated. This is my backup page. Have you heard of the Watchers? Have you heard of Fallen Angels? The different ranks of angels of the thrones? The final three days of the month, we're doing a detailed teaching on them. Pre-recorded. To join, click the link in my bio. Self-deliverance, how to cast demons. Do you believe Lilith was Adam's first wife? Let me know down below. Out of yourself. Number one, you must renounce and denounce. Come out of agreement with anything that opened the door for the spirits to come inside of you. Because verbal agreements and contractual agreements are biblical. They are called covenants. Just as we make a covenant with God, so we can make covenants with the enemy. We must come out of those by the blood of Jesus. We must also turn away from the practice of whatever sin that opened the door. We must walk in the opposite direction. We must repent of it because practice sin keeps the door open. If it's a generational curse, we must undo that as well. When you command the demon to go, don't say, Mr. Demon, please leave. God, would you remove the demon? No, you commanded to go. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of lust, you evil spirit, come out. And they can leave through burping, coughing, spitting, yawning. Any way the body relieves itself, that's how demons go. Follow for more. Today at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time is the deadline to sign up. The Rebellion of the Fallen Angels, the Nephilim, where demons come from. Click the link in the bio to sign up. Take a look at this. Mm -mm. Hell no. You see that? Look at what I'm about to tell you. Now I want you to see how the tick mm -mm. is going off of his head, right? This is a prime example of how it can look if a person has demonic spirits, visually. Now, of course, this isn't the exact portrayal. Of Do y'all believe this? It Like, like, like. And manifested in reality, did some demonic stuff, or he just was being dirty, no disrespect. But it is an example. You see, there was once a man that had thousands and thousands, legion. You couldn't see them because they were invisible. Nevertheless, they were there, and they're dirty. 
And you take a look at things like this infesting the human body, that's not supposed to be there. That's exactly how demons do. If you have desires that try to get you to rail against God, oppose God, and causes you to despise God, you need deliverance, my friend. And Jesus can absolutely provide that for you. So keep that in mind. If you like content like this, follow for more. The final three days of this month, I'm doing a three-day virtual class teaching how to defend the faith. I'm going to teach you how to defend the faith against atheism, against Islam, archaeology that proves God as well as science, and a plethora of other things. To join, what I ain't one to pick what background. In my personal opinion, it's about just living a, um, a, a good moral life, respecting everybody, loving everybody. Um, I think you should keep your religious practices yourself you know so you don't cause strife because then you'll be like well i believe my prophet it it just start getting it's not that it we should never take it that deep if god ain't saying nothing just continue to do what you do and respect everybody in my opinion do is you want to go to my bio and click the event bright link in my bio it's not a live class it's pre-recorded so if you work you have the links to watch at a later date see you there you turn on the television it's a portal for them you turn on your radio, it's a portal for them. Every type of electronic device, because they're a smokeless energy, they are moving through electricity. They move through the manifestations and energy of electricity. So when you turn on a movie, they're coming through. See, if you could see, you'd see them coming all through the screen. You turn on music, why music moves you? because these beings are coming through. So now we have an understanding that the sound will affect these portals, the visuals will affect these portals. We call portals because this is a popular word, word in their news. Because people say, where's the Dalil for this? Narrow head people. We're trying to talk in their words to reach them. This is the truth Jesus says about demons. But you do not want to miss what he says about you if you're a Christian. See, there was a time where Jesus had sent out his disciples to go cast out demons and heal the sick. And they come back rejoicing that the demons bow in the name of Jesus. So Jesus rejoices with them, but he tells them this one truth. Jesus then reveals in Luke chapter 10 verse 18 that he saw Satan fall like lightning and that he has given you power to trample over snakes, scorpions, and all power over the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Then Jesus says to his disciples, which applies to you if you're a Christian, in Luke chapter 10 verse 20, he says, Do not rejoice that these spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Type, thank you Jesus, if you know your name is written in heaven. But if you want to find out who you are before your father and mother conceived you, who you really are, you almost have to go off by yourself. Go into the forest and stop talking, even stop thinking words, and be absolutely alone listen to the great silences and then if you're lucky you recover from the illusion that you're just little me the so-and-so and you attain the state of nirvana which means the blown out state the relieved state the sigh of relief hmm. whoever running this matrix hate natural woman all of your favorite artists after they go through the industry after years they end up being like feminine and stuff bro they rap about fucking hoes and shit, but they, they carry they self, they energy is very feminine. I go off energy. I learned human anatomy. I told all y'all niggas, you have to stop watching porn. And go 30 to 60 days without, you can't, so you ain't gonna be able to see what I see. Bro, as soon as a girl starts shaking her ass in front of you. No, I agree that, that that's too much visual stimuli and it's real bad. Uh, it's bad. You know, I would say ban it, but each his own. But I do think porn is 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 really, 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 really diabolical for for the young mind. For the mind period. Waste of time too. You like a dog. You like you at your not your your lowest state of your consciousness, bro. We all watch these cartoons, Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan levels, different levels within you. That shit is real. You got different levels of your mind that make, if you a lazy person, it's a certain level within you that, that will make you get up and hit the gym. It ain't even a thought. If you a person that ain't got no confidence, it's a level within you, nigga, you will become a fucking godlike streamer or a YouTuber or a public speaker. 
It ain't no thoughts. You don't have to think. It's you. All of that is being taken away. Every time you even try to stop enough, if you're addicted, what happened? That fucking sexual spirit brings your ass right back to it. I agree. What's dangerous is when the universe pick you and you put on the magic glasses. There's rules that go with them. You can never take them off. You never see things that they're supposed to be. You see things that they are. And you can never force nobody else to win. So. Illustrated what being guided to a better place looks like. First up, heightened sensitivity. You might feel overwhelmed in crowded places or deeply moved by nature's beauty. Emotions, both yours and others, can be intensely felt. Next, vivid dreams. Do you experience dreams that feel real, often conveying deep insights or premonitions? This could be a sign of your spiritual gift. Number three, altered perception of time. Moments of deep connection or meditation might make hours feel like minutes. Animals are drawn to you, aren't they? A natural connection with animals is a sign of your empathetic and spiritual nature. Do electronics behave oddly around you? Lights flicker or devices malfunction? This could be due to your energy field. Intuition plays a big part. You just know things without understanding how, right? During meditation or spiritual practices, you might feel physical sensations like tingling in your hands or crown. Ever felt an instant deep connection with someone you've just met? It's like your souls recognize each other. Synchronicities or meaningful coincidences seem to occur frequently in your life, guiding you along your path. Lastly, a love for solitude. You cherish moments alone to recharge and reflect. If these resonate with you, embrace your gift. Remember, your spiritual journey is unique and beautiful. Follow for more spiritual insights. Truth about gambling. Everything in life is frequency, and most gamblers are in the vibrational state of desire when they are gambling. The problem with being in the state of desire is that most of the time you're pushing away what you're desiring to get. It's like being in the girl DMs every single day saying, hey baby, good morning beautiful, you're going to push her away even more. Gambling in the desire state is energetically pushing away your win. That's why the best gamblers have the feeling of confidence while they're gambling. And you're going to be viewed as a creep. So sometimes, in the best opinion, leave it alone. I think sometimes, ladies, let a man know that you're no longer interested because we're naturally going to continue to pursue. Maybe if I say this, maybe if I do this, oh, eventually it could seem weird. So just my personal opinion. The feeling that they already won as they're gambling. Why do you think when you're shooting dice with unexperienced gamblers, it's like you always come up because they don't know what they're doing. They don't have that confidence. Rolling is not a skill. It's that energy that has you having an advantage over most people because you're energetically more confident and that helps you get your win. And the more that you start to lose, it's the more that your energy goes down because you become less confident. Gambling is all energy. It's all law of attraction. I'm not talking about prize picks or fan duel or whatever. I'm talking about gambling and games that you have control over. It's not always look like you think. It's energy. And if you don't gamble do not gamble i'm telling you not i love y'all Here's what occult symbols really mean. First, we have the all-seeing eye, and this is found everywhere, even on our money. It's a symbol of enlightenment and knowledge, but if you look deeper, you'll find that it represents the awakening consciousness of the universe itself. The pentagram is a five-pointed star, often associated with magic. Four of the points represent the material elements of earth, air, fire, and water. The top represents spirit, symbolizing the power of spirit over matter. The Ouroboros is a serpent eating its own tail that symbolizes eternity and the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, and the idea that the end of one universe is the beginning of a new one. The inverted cross is usually thought to be an evil symbol, but it actually represents St. Peter's crucifixion and is really a symbol of faith. The hexagram is composed mm. of two triangles pointing in opposite directions. It's a powerful symbol in occultism, representing the union of opposites and balance in the universe. Finally, the unicursal hexagram has a similar meaning, except that instead of using two triangles, it's drawn with a single line, transforming it from a symbol of duality to unity. You study Buddhism, one of the first lessons they teach is that life is full of suffering. It's inescapable, it's unavoidable. It's just something that's woven into the fabric of this reality, right? The Buddha then explains that the root cause of human suffering is ignorance and attachments or desires. So most of the problems and suffering that people experience is based on lack of understanding and uncontrolled desires. And the solution and end to this suffering is knowledge and attaining enlightenment, or what they call nirvana. Now, once you gain enlightenment, 
then all suffering is transcended and you break the cycles of reincarnation. Now, there are many paths to enlightenment, but it's mostly a mental deconstruction process. So it's more so about unlearning than it is learning. See, the reason that so many people are unhappy is because they seek their happiness and validation in everything besides themselves. And it's a never ending cycle because even happiness itself is a fleeting, temporary emotional state. So chasing happiness is one of the main causes of unhappiness, right? You don't have to chase what you already are. See, the concept of enlightenment is saying, hey, even if my external environment isn't perfect, my consciousness and my internal environment can make it perfect, right? And by changing the condition of my consciousness, I can change the environment around me over time. This man died more than 5,500 years ago. He was buried at Gabalain in Upper. He Sorry, but I feel like that's kind of messed up. If you ask that man, I don't think he will want it. His corpse on display like that. Like, put him at peace, man. Him at peace. Egypt, where he was found in a shallow grave covered with stone slabs, as partly reconstructed here. His body was naturally mummified by rapidly drying in the hot desert sand. This also preserved his hair, but its color has probably faded with time. He died from a stab wound in his left shoulder, rare evidence of violence at this. This is glow like me skincare and spa um this is another review of our works and this is a dark knuckle dark feet bleach feet treatment and here we have um, a client who has been walking and looking all over to get a perfect solution for our dark knuckles that have been on <laughs> that's been on for months and then she found us and this is her proceeding on a first treatment. This is actually a first treatment. And uh, yeah, watch out for part two and see the result. So the Taoist trick says, simply live now and there will be no problems. That's the meaning of the Zen saying, when you are hungry, eat. When you are tired, sleep. When you walk, walk. When you sit, sit. Rinzai, the great Tang Dynasty master said, in the practice of Buddhism, there is no place for using effort. Sleep when you're tired, move your bowels, eat when you're hungry. That's all. The ignorant will laugh at me, but the wise will understand. If you don't know who this man is, this man is Juice World. He's an American rapper from Chicago, Illinois. So Juice World passed away December 8th, 2019. But a lot of people believe he could still be alive. Especially after this tweet from Juice World back in 2017. Listen carefully to this song. John Lennon was an English singer who passed away December 8, 1980, the same day of Juice World's past. It's not a coincidence because he also said he's not making it past 21 in the song. It wasn't and he passed away at the age of 21. If you don't know who this man is. You don't think he spoke that into reality and it was so powerful that a lot of people watched it and we all manifested his demise? Let me know down below. This man is clever. He's also an American artist and really good friends with Juice World. They even dropped an album together and this was the track list. I want you to read the first letter from each song and tell me what it spells. So long as I have my sword to fight with, I'm sure to survive. Year after year, I prove it to be true. Mm -hmm. I always survived, no matter the odds, no matter how hopeless a losing battle. This time was no different. In truth, I don't believe that's any way to live one's life. I've been fighting in battles for as long as I can remember. I've never had anything except my sword. Allegations of Martin Lawrence 
being a clean berserker guts boy he remind me of myself so much just keep pushing forward no matter what clone after dying from stage three lymphoma are finally confirmed martin lawrence started his comedy career in 1992 with the hit show called martin unfortunately in 2022 he was diagnosed with stage three lymphoma he knew he was going to pass away and he wrote in his will that he accepted to be cloned so that he can continue his work in the mainstream. Martin Lawrence's family has supported his decision and has accepted his clone as part of them. Unfortunately, the clone cannot withstand and is not the same as the original Martin Lawrence, for the clone does not have a soul. Now that the clone is doing interviews with Will Smith, it's being apparent and the world can see it's not the same Martin Lawrence. He's a lot different. His speech is different, he talks a lot slower, and he looks like he's doing bad. A lot of people are commenting like he's on drugs or something. But unfortunately, the truth is, Martin Lawrence is dead. He died in 2022. We now have a clone. Imagine yourself sitting on... Do y'all believe that? Do y'all believe he's gone? Let me know down below. On top of and did y'all like the new bad boys? Let me know down below. A beautiful hill surrounded by fragrant herbs, flowers, trees. Your breathing is smooth and even. One, two... Three, you're sinking into deep. No more envy for your neighbors. No senseless spite. Old grievances, greed, fear, all that foul smelling dead weight that dragged you into the world's filth, waiting to ambush you in the fetid basements of life. At long last, the path is over. Thanks, y'all. That's it on the TikToks for today. I appreciate everybody that's tuning in. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Have a blessed day.